So I just bought this dump trailer over here yesterday. I think today is the 19th January 2023. That's a big tax, 14 LP. It's a, it looks good, but I mean, lack of quality on this thing, it's absurd. It's, it's a lot of things that was like, it could have been a lot better. I don't know what I'm, I mean, I, I'm thinking of going back over there and, and ask them to swap this trailer out or do something else. I mean, or fix everything. You see the lack of quality. It's insane. For a $12,000 trailer out the door, it's insane. I don't know. Look at this well right here. It looks like a kid, eight years old kid did this. And one thing that's really concerned me, I'm gonna show you in a moment. I mean, the paint, I know everybody complains about the coating that they put it on, but it's not even paint right here on this thing. Brand new. No tag, no nothing. You can tell it's brand new. Lights works fine, but but look at this. The welds over here are in a few spots, right here, right here, and they got they have like a sim sealer on the gap in between, so they never put it right. You see, they put it on, but they forgot to spread that, so this gap over here is open. You see right here, this is good. It's supposed to be like this, but right here is nothing. So what I what I saw the, over there, it was those marks where the water it was like a rust marks. And then I realized the water get inside here and get trapped inside here. So that's what's causing the rust over there. What else, what else? I mean, rust everywhere. <laughs> You see this? Oh my goodness. You see right here what I'm talking about? It's rust. So, I mean, it's like, it got, it got over there, zipped through here, and got stuck on this channel right here. And you see where it came out? It's a lot of rust. It's supposed to be a sim sealer like this. Not like the, the way they left. Look at the other one there. You see this thing? I mean, I think they gotta redo all of that. That's why I'm gonna take it back. I'm sure I'm sure I'm gonna have a hard time doing it. But the, the thing that concerned me more Oh my goodness. Is this. You can see the bat is all the way down. And it does not sit on the on the beam itself. It's supposed to sit on the beam over here. So when it have weight on it, it just sit right here. And I don't know if that's a common thing, but you can see the gap. It's bigger than one inch on this side. And you can see how well done is the welds you see you can see through i mean they have a one inch well right here they skip like one foot another well right there i mean it's a lot of money that we pay for this so. and uh what concerns more over here is this thing it's, it's not sitting over here and it will not because they have a, a box being right there that that this being it's sitting on so when it hits over there it does not allow to the bed to sit on the on the eye beam and on this side it does the same thing you can see it's a it's better over here but it's still three quarter of an inch half inch gap right here so we will, we will never made to the beam unless if i had like a lot of weight on it 
and this thing kind of bends like right there and right here i don't want that i don't want that let me show you guys what i'm talking about you can see so all of this hits right over here so it does not allow the rest of the trailer to sit on the on the beam itself so i think this uh, it's a really big problem right here at least for me imagine having a weight on it and uh if it's just sitting on this part right here or the scissor horns right there this thing could like uh slide to the side you got to sit on the, on the beam right there it's something that I know is dangerous because it happened to me on the other trailer that we had. It was not sitting right. So it was a lot of weight on the, when it was was doing the turn, it just uh, went on the side because it was not resting on the beam. And this right here, it will never get to the beam because of that. I don't know what they did over here, but you can see. So it's there now. It's right, up, right over there on top. But over here, it's still not made. Made it there, you know. Even worse on the other side. I don't know if that's a. For me, it's a big problem right there. Other than the axle being bent from the when i left the store it was like this you can see the, the the wheels go like this so it's a brand new thing why they don't don't like take more care right i mean build out their name and something because their name right now it's shitty right now man everybody's complaining about it so i don't know let's see how we'll, I'll figure this thing out. Oh my. You see right there.